We need to tackle our keel joint today. You know, the famous Catalina smile that I've been agonizing over for months. I mean, I personally don't think it's nearly as bad as you think it is. It's, I'm not afraid of it. I don't think that it's as bad as I think it is. I'm more afraid that once we start scraping away, if we find something underneath that causes more of a setback mm -hmm. for our splash tape. That's really what I'm worried about. Yeah, we'll get that fixed and then I guess after we finish doing that, we'll start with the sanding and then the painting. I don't know that it'll all get done today. I don't think it'll all get done today. <sighs> so, that's the plan for today, guys. Totally. Wipe. Except my hands not big enough to wipe the screen. I should take my sunglasses off, but it's okay. At least you're not working on a sunglass tan, or you might be. I mean... You just have better skin than I do, so it just looks better. Okay, let's, uh... Surprise, surprise, something actually happened in our favor. Um, normally everything goes wrong and it feels like there's a million things that we need to fix on top of other things that we started, so. Um, anyways, I digress. So, some good news. We found out that this um, Catalina smile is not nearly as bad as we thought it was. So, we saw the crack and we're like, oh, this needs to be fixed, but turns out, Whoever fixed it last time did a really good job, and it's mostly still solid. So, it's a lot less work for us to do. So we'll just have to dig out the teeny little bit that needs to come out, fill it. So it should be like half the time, perhaps. Well, it's time to put on barrier coat before we do the bottom thing. One here, two drinks, you know what they say about me You and your friend, you know what they say about three You got nothing to lose We just finished with the first coat. Now we have to wait a handful of hours um, for it to cure so we can set the coat. The thing says about six hours when it's 70 degree weather and it's right at 70 today. So we'll see, it may be dry faster because I noticed it was drying already. So until then we're gonna grab something to eat and then just do a little bit of cleaning and touching up on the boat. Just nothing big. 
Just until we can finish this off. Which you really need, because I'm tired. Okay, and now it's time for the second coat. We are done with the second coat. <laughs> now, do you want to see the most satisfying thing in the world? Buckle your seatbelts, because this one's good, says Darth Vader back here behind me. Hey, I'm not your father. <gasps> Thank God, because that would be weird. We are done for the day, and now we are going to pack up and head home and relax. And I got paint on my arms. I got paint on my arms. Lots of. So do I. Anyway. Actually, kind of more up the other side. No, no, you have to turn the camera. Your arm doesn't really turn. Anywho. Covered in paint, so that's it for us today. <sighs> if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Next up on our painting list is doing the bootstripe. But there are a few little um, holes and divots and things that we need to clean up and fill in before we can get to painting it. We will first take the Dremel tool and kind of clean out the hole a little bit and then after that, we will take some gel coat paste, fill it in, sand it down, and get to painting. We didn't record any of what we just did, unfortunately. Mostly because it was a little warm outside. Well, it was a two-man job and we just didn't have the hands and the assistance we needed to record this. So, but what you get to see is the crazy final finish. It's not 100% done yet. We have one tiny little coat to add to it. But, All of this masking work for the boot stripes. It's a lot of work to get this done, and that's the reason we weren't able to film anything. 
Also, a battery would have died on a tripod trying to record all this because it took us literally an entire day just to mount everything on. But you'll get to see the final result. That's the most important part. Feeling good, feeling good. I just finished sanding and washing the bootstrap I painted. I'm pretty happy with it. And if you guys don't know yet, we uh, had a little mishap yesterday when we were uh, washing the boat, getting it ready for paint. We, uh, we used a chemical or a cleaner that affected the bottom hull of the boat. So we have to repaint a good portion of it. So that sucks. That's what you see, all these streaks and whatnot, um, is having to repaint. But focus on the bootstrap because that looks pretty bitchin', I gotta say. Thank you all for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and come back next week as we begin the installation for our new electric motor.